The Kansas GOP lawmaker is under fire for supporting Medicaid expansion and a study finds that social service workers have positive impact on residents' behavior. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, March 18th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. One of Kansas' top GOP lawmakers is facing increased scrutiny for his effort to expand the state's Medicaid program. State Senate Majority Leader Jim Denning is currently working with Democratic Governor Laura Kelly to pass a Medicaid expansion plan, much to the dismay of some of his Republican counterparts. Denning's support of an expansion to the Medicaid program is a complete shift after he previously blocked similar efforts last year. Long-term care providers which rely on the program's funding in the past has not been in favor of the state Medicaid expansion efforts, saying it could lead to added competition and potentially decrease the funding pot for providers. The proposed Kansas plan would expand health coverage to more than 100,000 people in the state. Currently, more than 415,000 people are enrolled in the state's Medicaid program. A study has linked the specialists with a background in social services with improved behavioral symptoms in nursing home residents. Skilled nursing facilities that had more qualified social workers also reported, quote, marginally significant improvements in residents who often rejected care or wandered when compared to facilities who enlist paraprofessionals. And the workers helped the facilities reduce the use of antipsychotic medications, which has been a recent priority for federal officials. Study authors wrote, quote, it may be time for skilled nursing facilities to revisit efforts to improve staffing and social services. Researchers used data from more than 1 million Medicare free-for-service patients who received post-acute care following a hospitalization between 2011 and 2015. Full findings were published in the March edition of the Journal of Post-Acute and Long-Term Care. This has been your Long-Term Care News Update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.